You're telling me Avatar, The Way of Trash, was one of the best films this year. You don't earn an Oscar. You don't win an Oscar. It's given to you. Why do you have to campaign to be awarded? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're telling me Avatar, The Way of Trash, was one of the best films this year. So that's what you're trying to tell me. Avatar, The Way of Trash was, was one of the best films this year. See, see, this, see, this is what you call quality. That, and that as well. Also that as well. That's what you call quality. So Avatar, The Way of Trash, it's, you're, you're saying that's one of the best films this year. You see, you have to understand about the Oscars. The Oscars, you don't end an Oscar. You don't win an Oscar. It's given to you. This is the same award show that, that told us that Crash is the best film, was the best film of the year. Do you realize Stanley Kubrick? Can I give you Clockwork Orange? Can I give you Full Metal Jacket? Can I give you 2001 A Space Odyssey? You know that he's never won an Oscar. Do you know Alfred Hitchcock, the guy who pretty much created the thriller? Can I give you Psycho? Can I give you North by Northwest? Do you know he's never won an Oscar? Do you know Ridley Scott? Can I give you Gladiator? Can I give you Alien? Can I give you Blade Runner? You know he's never won an Oscar. <laughs> so I can keep on going again and again and again and again. You know Peter O'Toole, the guy who gave, I think, one of the greatest acts performances of all time in Lawrence of Arabia. He didn't win an Oscar as well. So this is, you don't say an Oscar, you didn't win an Oscar. It's, it's given to you. And Claire comes to our dear friend, Anna Diamas. Here's the thing. All because you are attractive doesn't make you a great actor. Now, you don't have those insurances. Angela Bassett, beautiful woman, great actress. Um, Kate Blanchett, very beautiful woman, great actress. Um, um, what, what, what are the Sharon Stone? Well, specifically in um, oh God, what's, what's called, what's called? Um, Casino, where I think she, she that she ends. She, I believe she she deserved her nominations. Beautiful woman and great actress as well. So. You do have those sort of instances there that sort of exist, you know. Um, but you see, again, again, Halle Berry. <laughs> eh, no, I sure should that a great actress, you know. But Gal Gadot, beautiful woman, trash actress. Anna de Amas, oh, that's a woman, oh, come on. Um, not that great. I wouldn't call her trash, not that great. And here's the thing. <laughs> I have never watched a Marilyn Monroe movie. I will never watch a Marilyn Monroe movie. Because growing up, and I'll just come to another, growing up, I said to myself, wait a minute, like, but she's just a regular white blonde woman. She's not a particularly great actress. You know, she doesn't have great, amazing acting skills. Because from the clips that I saw, like, you know, some like, 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 uh, like it's hot with, um, what's his name? Um, oh, gosh. Jack Lemon and so forth. She's just a white blonde lady. She's so, she's just the she's just the white attractive blonde lady that every guy wants to. You know what? So so why do am I going to watch a film about a blonde woman? Or why am I going to watch a film about the troubles and the heartaches and the the in, internal difficulties of a white blonde woman back in the racist days? So you want me to really sympathize with a white blonde woman? Back in the days where black people were getting lynched and had Israel rights. Really? Really? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Um, and then because, because it's just so odd because you say to yourself that like, so you look at something like The Woman King. People could say, okay, there's controversy here and everything. But if you just talk purely about film, purely on the, on, on the film itself. Same thing I do with Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson is a racist prick. He's a racist prick. But Apocalypse is one of the best is one of the best made films I've ever seen in my life. Brave Heart is a classic. <laughs> so it, it, it is what it is. So Woman King, controversy or not, that was one of the best films of the year. That deserves a director nomination, a best picture nom nomination, and an acting nomination. But here comes the whole thing. People say Oscars are white. 
this is this is this is terrible blah 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 the oscars was made by white people to pretty much celebrate white people and occasionally handouts give handouts to the occasional black the occasional asian and so forth the lady who won the oscar for um gone with the wind do you know that she had to enter through the back entrance <laughs> she had to enter through the back entrance and i think for another dude as well who won an oscar for um it was i think that's disney film or something they had to enter through, through the back entrance so these people who actually won the award, they were still disrespected. So the thing is, so this is what I say to people when I say, okay, the Oscars so white, you know, people should ask more boycott the Oscars. What you should ask from the industries, I don't care about your award. I don't care about your status because the, the awards has already proven themselves to be trash. I told you, the Oscars have told me that Kim Bessinger who was just a blonde lady in LA Confidential, had a better performance than freaking Julian Moore in Boogie Nights. Please, if you haven't, go watch Boogie Nights and go and watch Julian Moore's performance in Boogie Nights and please tell me how she lost to freaking Kim Bessinger. The Oscars want to tell me that Tom Hooper directed a film better than David Fincher. So people, the Oscars want to tell me that a King's Speech was it better directed by the social was better directed than the social network? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you are you kidding me? Or the King's Speech is a better film than the social network? A social network, bro. That is like a that's that is a timeless classic. Like I've seen that film, I think I've seen like three or four or five times. It's a timeless classic. I've seen both films. Kings and, and that's why it's the thing with the Oscars is you have to you have to um campaign. You've got to pay. You've got to make, make friends. You've got to have guys in the industry. You have guys that um, go go free. Because look, bro. Because, you know, I'm a movie guy. So wherever I go on, like, Variety or Hollywood Road Reporter, they have these ads that say, for your consideration. Why do you have to campaign to be awarded? The moment you make a film, you should be in the game. So all you have to do is just, if you make an amazing film, you're in the game. So if, because every movie critic sees all the films that, that, that come out, and what you do is, okay, this film seems to have been loved by most critics. This film needs to have been loved by most people. So therefore, we come in. Avatar, the way of garbage. The way of garbage. I'm, and this is me as a James Cameron fan. The way of garbage. How do you nominate, nominate that for best picture? How? You know? And what I just found so crazy is, so you look at the woman talking. I don't even know what the hell that, that film is. I was watching this thing because, you know, they always do this thing like directors against on directors. So the director of Women Talking, they had her in a one-to-one -one with Francis Ford Coppola. I don't, I've never heard of this director before of Women Talking. I've never even heard of the film. So you have her, give, and you have Francis Ford Coppola of Godfather, Godfather 2, Apocalypse Now, Dracula, some of the greatest films ever made you have this guy as so this is literally a legend a cinema iconic legend you have him interviewing the director of the woman talking i mean what I mean, what is this <laughs> so but, but so like the because i used to watch the oscars all the time look for me whenever when i wanted to be an actor and, and be in films i used to watch the oscars all the time because i said like, man i want to hopefully if i make it in the industry i want to win an oscar and everything but the moment that crash one for best picture i knew that okay yeah this is so okay now i know what it is it is because when i was naive i thought oh if the people who deserve to win win like you know if you're really good you deserve to win and if you don't win you didn't deserve to win so that was what i thought in my foolishness but when i found out about how it's about favors it's about paying people it's about making friends it's about making alliances within the industry and it's about campaigning. Then I thought, okay, this, okay, this is BS. This isn't really about the arts. This it's it's a game. It's a game. So this isn't about the World Cup or the Champions League. Where look, Messi with Enzo Martinez, Enzo Fernandez, Julian Alvarez, Di Maria, they went out and they did that. They earned their rights. Your boy Benzema, your boy Modric, Vini, um, and Coco Couture, they won that UCL. It wasn't given to them. They went and they earned that right. You know, Mbappe, he earned that right to, to win that World Cup at, at 19. So, 
That's because it ain't sports, man. It ain't sports. It's 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 a scam. It's only a scam. And all that matters is this. Come a match, me and you are going to be in that bomber cinema watching John Wick 4. 